Hello Internet, James Allen from Out of 8, and today I'm playing the early access alpha of real-time tactical strategy game Call to Arms. This is uh, by the developers of Men of War, basically placing the game into a modern setting. Uh, this is early access, so the game is not complete, obviously, uh, but you can get a pretty good feel for what the game is going to be about when it is released. Uh, there is going to be a single-player campaign, which is currently only accessible by people who uh, purchase the deluxe version of the game. Uh, however, I can show off the multiplayer, which can be done over a LAN or the internet. Uh, I'm going to do a LAN match against bots. So create a new game. The uh, game currently features five maps. Uh, supporting 1v1 up to 4v4. Uh, so I'm just going to do a two-player match here on Village. And then you can kind of pick whoever. I'll be uh, the US, and then we'll put normal AI into the rest of the slots. Uh, I'm going to adjust the victory points just so the game doesn't last quite as long. And then you get a whole bunch of options uh, that you can use to tweak uh, the game settings, just like in uh, Men of War Assault Squad 2. Uh, which was the most recent version of that game that was put out. Uh, you know, it has good customization there. Uh, a couple of different game modes other than Domination, which is when I'm going to play cooperative game modes, Last Man Standing. Uh, now, the game currently has mostly infantry. They're adding more vehicles and tanks over time. Right now, we have some Jeeps uh, available. Uh, and there's also Steam Workshop, so there's mods that you can have in it. Uh, the rest of the game is actually very similar to Assault Squad 2. The menus look the same, the interface looks the same. Uh, good and bad, you know, it really kind of plays more like a mod now than a full-fledged game, but of course that's probably going to change uh, as it gets closer to the release uh, during 2016. Uh, not that that's a bad thing, you know, Men of War Assault Squad 2, and the whole Men of War series is very good for uh, tactical strategy. Uh, I really like the game's use of cover, which you'll see as I play. You know, it really allows for realistic tactics like bounding overwatch, keeping, you know, one set of units firing while the other set of units advances forward. Uh, it also has direct control of units, uh, medics, repair, disruptible buildings, realistic ballistics with armor penetration, field of view, uh, different stances, all that stuff. So, uh, you know, the rest of the game will seems like it translates pretty well over to the modern setting. Guns seem to be more deadly and at greater ranges than they are during World War II, so you kind of have to be a little bit uh, more careful with units in that sense. So we'll start the game here and see how it goes. As I stated before, there are two factions, the U.S. and kind of an insurgent uh, type force. Uh, in Domination here, you want to try to capture uh, these bases. I'm going to go for this base over here on the left side of the map. Uh, and I will double click to tell them to run, and we'll see if the AI goes for the same area. It doesn't look like they are. Uh, the way the game works is you have uh, command points, which basically limits the uh, number of units you can have on the map. And you have these manpower points, uh, which you use to call in reinforcements up to your level. Now you can see right now you have several different types of infantry. You have more specialized teams of infantry, uh, mortars, and then some uh, basic jeeps as well. So they are shooting each other while I'm capturing stuff. So I'm going to put some guys up here. You can see the little shadows kind of define where they're going to go. Put those guys up there. It should be good. For capping that. You can see some of the action over here. I actually like the uh, infantry game. Uh, so actually without a lot of vehicles it's actually kind of appealing uh, to play. i bring up an assault squad here. Oh, here's everybody. These guys are going to get in trouble, I think. Pull you back. Pull back! Need some more units up here. Uh, you know, the game really focuses on flanking units, because uh, they automatically hide behind cover, automatically use grenades, uh, and engage the enemy. 
much more realistic than some of the other uh, titles that have come out. So I'm actually going to move these guys. Try to flank these guys. I'm going to use this hill, I think. Alright, come on up, guys. Yeah, there we go. Except there's that guy. Shoot him. Send these guys up on the hill. You guys should be pretty good now. Let's put you on the wall. Alright. That's kind of all I want to do with them. And this should be pretty well defensed, I think. Actually, we're doing pretty good. We have three out of four of the areas captured, so we're going to get a lot of points here. Uh, I might consider bringing in a uh, Humvee, although I don't really need it, <laughs> to be honest. Humvees are kind of, they're basically fast machine gun emplacements. I think these guys are okay, so I think I'm gonna actually come in on this side. I think I will call in a Humvee just for... show it off. These guys need some support anyway. The game actually performs pretty well, uh, considering that it's not uh, technically finished. Haven't encountered very many bugs. Alright, yeah, these guys need some help. I gotta be real careful with these, uh, jeeps and stuff. Oh, they're coming. Come on over here. Yeah, I got some rocket launchers. Yes, sir! Alright, well, let's do the Humvee and let's bring it over here. Here he comes. Now you can take direct control of these units by pressing uh, E, and then you can just you can move them, you can aim, you know, from a third person perspective. It's pretty cool. Although I'm a terrible driver, I'm probably doing a disservice to my units here. Oh, and there's a. Uh, no, hopefully I won't die in the river here. Come on, get out of the river. Oh, see, I'm bad. <laughs> yeah, see, they put the roadblocks on the bridge here. That wasn't very nice of them. Now they got some vehicles, too. I might consider bringing an anti-tank team over there. Yeah. Got a technical. Oh, there goes my little guy there. There you go. Light him up. Much more for a anti tank team, not too much. Pull up a little bit. Try to support this with, uh, AT team. Yeah, back up. Two, one, go. Hide you behind that car. Alright, where's that? Where are you guys? There you are. Alright. Use your rocket launcher to take that guy out. Ugh, oh, he took me out. Really missed. And then he died. Well, that was unfortunate. Yeah, 
Yeah, third person view is a little bit awkward, but it's actually not too terrible. Reload, reload. Alright, what do I want to bring in here? Uh, I could do some Marines. The information is not very useful at this point. We got off on everything. We're getting killed now. I didn't even realize that. Oh, they abandoned their vehicle. Alright then. Uh, I might do a defense squad. Where's my, like, partner guy? He has no units left. What are you guys doing? I think the machine gun died or something. Must have been saving up for units or something. I think the, uh, the cap for units is right about where it needs to be. All right, let's bring in some greens. Oh, we got a couple rifles, machine gun. Ugh. Guys are doing pretty terrible. Get him. Yeah, that's probably not the best cover. Ugh. My partner is doing not good. Neither am I. Doing something at least. Here, get in there. <laughs> now everybody's firing on him though. Alright. Let's get a defense squad up. I need to help these guys out. Oop. Coming up a grenade. Ah, oh, where's support? I'm gonna lose this pretty handily. Yeah, I'm getting shot from. Yep, this is not good. Multiple directions. All right, back up. Jeez. All right. Let's get the assault squad up. Anytime you guys want to help, that'd be great. Try to move up here, or at least over. get some of these points here. Let's make another little bit for these. Golly, I have so many units over there. Yeah, we're basically screwed. Watch out, Mr. Donkey.
They almost won anyway. This is a pretty terrible showing. What sort of score do I have? Well, at least I'm better than the other guy. Yeah, we actually got better kill ratio. We just couldn't hold anything. I just need more units. There you go. Right here. Go. Ugh, look at all these people. And they're not dying, so they're gaining experience. I know the enemy team's running. Well, uh, you spot a lot of uh, similarities between uh, this and Assault Squad. Uh, and it'll be interesting to see how much, you know, whether this feels more like a mod or more like an actual full-fledged game. Uh, the good news is, is the Meta War series is really good. Uh, so even if it is a mod, that might be enough for a lot of people. Um, you know, just to have it in a different setting with more modern weapons. Uh, because there's so many good things about it. You know, the way that the AI uh, behaves, and you don't really have to micromanage a lot of stuff, although you can if you want to. Uh, you know, the realism of the ballistics and uh, the strategies you can employ in the game. Bring up a Humvee. I'm not going to lose in about 10 seconds. That's all right, though. Yeah. Get some kills before the timer runs out. Yeah, there we go. Eh, got 60 for my score. Well, there we go. That is a uh, call to arms. I'll be very interested to see, like I said, whether it's more like a mod or a full game when it comes out in 2016. Uh, it has all the strong aspects of men of war uh has the optional direct control so you can kind of drive the tanks and the jeeps and stuff around if you want to or you can just let the ai handle it because it does a pretty good job of uh tactically deciding when to use grenades and stuff like that uh you know the use of cover is very nice has all the inventory so you can pick up different weapons and tracks all the ammo for every character on the map uh and overall it's a very solid game and we'll see uh, how well it translates into a modern setting that's all I have for today. Until next time, bye now.